So ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Sahara Desert. Welcome to Mazuga. So, as you can see, the uh, sand pit is in front of us. We're in Morocco! Good morning and welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel. Today we are heading to the Sahara Desert. Uh, we're leaving Todger Gorge and we are heading deeper south into the desert. We're going to have uh, a little play in the desert, see how Aventica likes the sand pit. And uh, we're going to dump the luggage and we're going to go and see if we can explore a little bit of the desert and we're going to see how far we can get in the desert. It's a three and a half hour ride and we're heading to Mazuga. The emptiness of uh, Morocco, it's amazing that it's just so vast and so empty. You see the mountains off in that direction and then you got this perfect road that just goes straight through the middle of it and it's just so smooth it's, it's unbelievable we have just into this little town we've traveled 30 odd kilometers um, of nothing and then in the middle of nowhere you got this little town with palm trees and all sorts i mean the growth of trees here is just unbelievable considering we've just done 30 kilometers of nothing and I haven't seen a single tree. Shop's going. Quite a rustic town again. It's very, um, you know, it's uh, ancient and then you get all these modern commodities you can buy. It's really strange, the um, the emotions that you go through when you leave the towns and the cities and you become, you come to such a remote place and uh, the emptiness it's quite surreal and I think when you seen it at home watching this video you're surrounded by humanity and people and you know you know the security of everything is there but when you come to places like this and you experience it in real life the emptiness the flat those emotions start sort of wandering and it's crazy it's a crazy experience and it's just remarkable how anxious you do get when you're here in real life. This is absolutely insane. Hey guys, it really helps me out if you can share the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for new content. Well done to market. I'm still fascinated by how people can adapt to this environment. The majority of these people, you know, there is no other option. This is their life. And it's, it's remarkable how they adapt and they live and almost every person I've met on this trip in these little villages have offered me something for nothing and that is the hospitality of Morocco so the, they're not the conventional stone walls that you uh, find in all the towns and the villages that we passed 
most of it I mean there's one there but I think that's the only one I've seen but everything's flat and rounded losing the mountains they're turning into sand dunes we are about half an hour away from Mazuga and the gateway to the Sahara Desert it's like driving back through the uh, Dodra Gorge there's the first sign of Mazuga that I've seen outskirts of Mazuga what a beautiful entrance we are 30 odd kilometers from the dunes and the town of Mazuga but we're in this little town it's called El Racin and what a stunning village or town I suppose You got all these uh, historical um, buildings all around, and when you come in, you've got this. It looks like some sort of mosque, sort of little mosque. Absolutely stunning. Wow! Talk about scenic. So ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Sahara Desert. Welcome to Mazuga. So, as you can see, the uh, sand pit is in front of us. Gonna be a little bit too much for Ventica and I to go uh, play in that sand pit. Just going to have a drive through the town quickly and then uh, I'm going to go off and have a look for these uh, campsites. Camping in the desert. Camping in the desert is 50 dirham. Okay guys, uh, I will leave all the links in the description below. Um, Oberg Summer Camping. The main reason why I came to the um, Mazuga is, yeah, prob probably to ride in the dunes if it was possible. Um, but also, one of the reasons why I came here is so that I can sleep under the stars. I am um, at distance. So uh, I promised you a little bit of a ride through the desert so uh, let's go and see where we can go. Guys and girls I saw earlier today we'll have a chat to them and uh, see what the conditions are like. English, English, English. A bit far away from home, guys. Austria. I was in England four years ago and then I moved. Austria is pretty nice, though. Round trip into the desert. So it's going to be fun. Say hello to these guys. That's the host. He's going to take us for a nice 45 minute cruise. Hey guys, it really helps me out if you can share the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for new content.
quite an exciting day. So um, we had a bit of a storm uh, kicking around. The wind is sort of starting to um, drop off now a little bit. Um, and the weatherman says it's going to be completely dropped off by 10 o'clock tonight, 11 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up here. I've had such an excellent day. Uh, we are going to be uh, having some coffee in the morning at 7.30. Uh, then I'm going to, him and his girlfriend, or his wife, I'm not sure, um, we're going to go for a little bit of a ride out uh, with all the protection on, and we're going to go do some off-road stuff. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow, with no luggage, 7.30 for a couple of hours, we're going to go and do the off-road, and then we're going to head to Medet. So... Until later on, I'm hopefully the stars will come out, the moon will be vanishing, and we will see some really awesome stars tonight. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, now I'm just rehydrating with some water, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30 for an off-road session. Goodbye for now. Thanks for joining me again, and see you next time.